Good morning, everybody. Or perhaps good afternoon, everybody, depending on when you watch this. Peace be with you. Lev and David here again to share a short talk with you. Sunday in the church's calendar was Trinity Sunday, a day when we think about the nature of God, or the character of God, or perhaps just think a little bit about how we speak of God. Before we go any further, I'm going to light a candle. We often light the candle at the beginning of our worship. It reminds us of God's presence with us. It burns to remind us of the light that Jesus brought into the world. Nothing like that, and that's going to burn as we continue to think this morning or this afternoon. So I could talk to you a bit about the doctrine of the Trinity. Doctrine is quite a hard word. Perhaps we could use the word definition or maybe theory instead. Anyway, when we talk about the Trinity, we talk about God being both three and also one. We know God as Father, as Son, as is Jesus, and also as the Holy Spirit. Beth and Anna spoke about the Holy Spirit in last week's Assembly Resource. But although we talk about God in these three different ways, there is only one God who encompasses all. That's quite a lot to take in, and perhaps we should take a step back and think a bit more about who God is. If I asked you to use some words to describe God, what words would you pick? Perhaps take a moment to think now. I wonder what you've thought. Well, I've got a few pictures I'd like to share with you to help us think about who God is. Our first picture is of an old man with a flowing beard sat upon a throne. What sort of God do you think it's showing? Perhaps take a little while to look and to have a think. Perhaps we should have a look at another image of God. This is an image of Jesus on the cross. What do you notice about it? Look at those people gathered around the foot of the cross. What do you notice about their clothing? Here's another image of Jesus. Do you notice anything about this picture? Look at his eyes. How do they look? Do they look kind? Do they look loving? They look angry. Too often the only images of Jesus we see have him with white skin. This is one of the reasons I shared pictures of Jesus painted in China and in Africa. To remind us that people in different cultures will paint Jesus in different ways depending on their own background. It's the same Jesus they're depicting. It's the same Jesus we read about in the Bible. But each each artist depicts them in their own way. I wonder what you a picture would look like of Jesus if you drew them. What sorts of words would you use to describe Jesus? And how might this affect what your picture look like? Of course, we also want to think about God, the Holy Spirit. Often we see the Spirit pictures of the dove like this one. In the story of Pentecost, the disciples talk about the Holy Spirit descending like a dove, an invisible way of God working through those who believe in him. I wonder what you think of God the Holy Spirit. What words would you use to describe the Holy Spirit? Three different ways of thinking about God, but how do we think about them all at the same time? It can be hard to draw a picture of the Trinity. I've got a couple of examples to share with you. This first one has all the classic images. The old man, Jesus with his cross, and the dove hovering above them. They do all look very powerful together like that. But perhaps we might prefer this one. Still quite an old image. This one's about 500 years old. It shows three figures sat around a table together. If you look closely, you can see that they have wings. The angels are gathered to eat of Abraham. 
This is sometimes known as the hospitality of Abraham. The artist is trying to show the angels as representing God the Father, Jesus and the Holy Spirit sitting together. You see they've got the colours of their robes which match. One's got red but has bits of gold and green. Another is gold but has bits of green and red. Another one is green but has bits of red and gold. Showing that the three figures all share things in common. But perhaps finally this image of God which comes from London. Here an artist has noticed that in the cathedral there are lots of images of God which have God depicted with white skin. So he's decided to paint God in a different way. It's a familiar picture but using different faces, different images. Here the three images which represent the, the three people of God have black faces. Some of them are women as well. I wonder what that makes you think. Which, which painting is the best painting? Which painting helps you understand most, most about God? If we are not careful, we can make the mistake that the pictures we see of God show us everything. But they can't. God is far beyond our imagining, more mysterious, more wonderful. God is not either male or female black or white, English or Chinese. God is much bigger than some narrow labels we apply. When we think about God as Trinity, we are reminded of the complex nature of God. It's not like a complex problem we have to solve, but as an awe-inspiring God who created the world, who lived in the world and who continues to live in the life of the church. A God who is above all our labels, it invites us to sit and eat, to spend time in prayer and worship together. Whatever God looks like, the invitation is there to be close. Let's be close to God by saying a prayer together. God of love, God of care, God of flourishing and life. We give thanks for the rich variety of human nature, for humanity in all its diversity. Help us to love and care as you love and care for us. Help us to stay safe. We pray for our school and give thanks for all those who help us to learn. We pray for our friends and family that we cannot see at the moment. And we join our prayers together with Christians all over the world in the words Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you all. I hope you enjoyed that. Peace be with you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.